What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. And today, once again, we have another episode of Base Reviews, guys. We're going to go ahead and zoom in here on Zewa's base. Um, he is a Town Hall 7, that's right. So today, we are going to go over Town Hall 7s, okay? Um, there are a couple of things I noticed right off with this base that are obviously um, going to be very, very concerning. And the first of those is the fact that your mortars are all right here. Um, what that means is that their radius is probably about this big. I know it looks kind of like a bowling ball, um, but that's probably about as big as their radius is. So they are not doing a good job of covering the entire base. Um, so you definitely need to spread those out around the base. Um, it looks like you have a whole bunch of sections right here in the middle, which is kind of making it hard for you to spread out your mortars. Um, so I might, if I were you, uh, obviously you're you're doing a farming base because your town hall is over here outside. I would consider um, centralizing your resources maybe a, around one of these. So have like gold, gold, elixir, elixir, something like that um, in the middle, and that's going to help you out a lot. Also, another thing I noticed is that you have all of your archers on this side of the base. What's going to happen when you need archers up here at the top? You're not going to be able to do anything about it. Um, I always mention this in my videos is that you need to spread out your point defenses. As you can see, you have two cannons right here beside each other and two cannons right here beside each other. And then this random cannon right here. I don't know why the heck that's outside the walls. Um, definitely bring that in. But it's very, very important to have like archer tower, cannon, archer tower, cannon, archer tower, cannon, so on and so forth around the base. Just to spread out your defenses, um, it really helps protect things a little bit more. Um, also, I wouldn't just put these traps down here in the middle. I would take out one of these little walls right here and put a trap in there um, because the whole point of traps like that is to get rid of giants. So if you put a trap right in here and giants come at you from down here and attack this wizard tower, um, then as they move over to this archer tower right here, they're going to get um, sprung off the map. Um, so that's the whole point of traps, not to just try and get lucky and have them right here. I would spread them out around your base maybe one right here um, maybe one right here maybe one right here and then shoot I don't know maybe one right here or something like that um, so definitely think about doing that as well um, as a Town Hall 7 it looks like you have um, everything built right now you obviously you still have a little bit of upgrading to do with this cannon right here um, I believe that your wizard towers um, can go up a level. It looks like they're one, maybe two, um, so they can definitely go up. Um, but overall, the main thing is spreading out your point defenses, because right here you just have all of your archers right on this side. Um, so you definitely need to spread those out and then work on these mortars. They need to make a triangle around the base. I always talk about that. Right now you have them triangulated around this dark elixir. That's not protecting you that much. You need to triangulate them around the base. Maybe one right here one right here, and then one right here. Um, do something along those lines. This this base layout is a little bit sketchy. Um, I would try and look one up on Clash of Clans Builder or wait for me to make one in a week or so once I get there. But overall, spread out your mortars um, and spread out your point defenses or your archers and cannons, all right? And then I think you will uh, be looking good, all right? So let's move on to James. He is next. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in on his base. And guys, one thing that I really want to mention for you guys is when you send me emails for this, um, make sure that you title it your town hall level. Otherwise, it makes it really, really annoying and hard. So if you want a better chance of getting picked, label it as what it is. All right, so um, Zewa, this is a good example of what your base should slash could look like, okay? Um, so this is town hall 7. You can see he has these two... Um, he has these two Teslas right down here. The, <laughs> these two Teslas. He has those two traps going right towards the Tesla, which is what I was just talking about. Um, so that's good. You are, uh, James, you are trophy pushing right now. I'm not too sure why, because you are at Town Hall um, 7. I would consider waiting until Town Hall um, 6 to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I would, I would, I don't know why I just said Town Hall 6. I would consider waiting until Town Hall 8 or Town Hall 9 to truly do a trophy push. Um, because you don't really get anything out of it at this level. Besides the gems at 
twelve fifty. But after that, you don't really get too much. But overall, I love the layout of this. It looks good. You do have your um, mortars triangulated right there, which is awesome. Um, you are protecting your um, your resources almost as much as you are your town hall. So I guess this is kind of a hybrid without being a hybrid. I, I don't really know what you're going for. Um, but I would consider moving this out. Just put it off to the side. Um, I do like seeing the clan castle in the middle as well. That is always a plus. So good job there. Good to see that you have your air defenses um, protected and away from the edge as well. That is exactly what you want to do. So good job with that. Um, I do love the layout of this base. I love how it's symmetrical and that if you were to fold it right here, if you were to take this and fold it over to this side, everything is the same. So I do like seeing that awesome job there. Um, it looks like you're maxing out and that you're getting to the point where you are going to be able to upgrade to um, Town Hall 8 soon. So good luck with that. That's going to be awesome. Um, overall, I would say that your base is doing really, really well. You have separated um, your point defenses like I was just talking about. So you have Cannon, Archer Cannon, Cannon, Archer Cannon, um, Archer Tower, Cannon. I'm not too sure why this Archer Tower is outside right here. Um, I might consider uh, bringing that in or taking some of these walls from somewhere and um, blocking that off. But if it's working for you, whatever. I guess you can wait until Town Hall 8. But overall, I really like the look of things. I like how you have these triangulated. I like the fact that your clan castle is right there in the middle. I like the fact that your base is covered by your air defense as well. That is perfect. So uh, good job with that, James. I think you're doing well, and you're definitely on a good track to a... Um, maxed out Town Hall 7. Next, we have the General. Um, he has a farming base, um, and as you can see, he does have his mortars triangulated as well. Um, also, he has his air defenses, which cover this area and about this area, so the majority of the base is covered by air defenses as well, so awesome job with that. Um, one thing that I would tell you to do, as I mentioned earlier, as you can see, you have Archer, Archer, Cannon, Cannon. Um, I would definitely consider switching that out. You want to spread all of those out. Again, you have Archer, Archer over here as well. Um, so I would spread that out along the base, maybe bring one of these Archer Towers. Um, I don't know, maybe j just spread them out because, again, you have two Cannons over here as well. Um, I do like the layout of this. It looks like a... Um, a Pokeball almost, I think it was Yao, something, I'm not sure who it is, or Ginny Alung, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, someone made a Pokeball base that's pretty famous, um, so this kind of looks like that. But awesome to see this clan castle in the middle, great job with that. Um, your wizards are a little bit exposed out here. If you're not getting attacked by that much air, I would consider moving these in um, to this position. Um, but if you are getting attacked by a lot of air defense, then I would leave those air defenses there. Um, but overall, man, like I was saying, I like the I like the layout of the base. It looks good. You're upgrading well. Um, looks like the majority of everything is maxed out, so you're doing a good job there. Um, again, I would just consider spacing out your point defenses or your cannons and archers around the base, and you should be good to go. Um, everything looks pretty good. Again, I like the layout, so awesome job, General. Uh, looks like you're on the way to a solid Town Hall 7 as well. Next, we have Mr. Henley. Um, let's bring his base up. Sorry, it's a little off focus there. Um, now, he made he gave me a message and said that I shouldn't tell him to move his clan castle in because he's not in an active clan. My response to that is get in an active clan and bring your clan castle in. <laughs> um but, I mean, that's the whole point of, of this game. The fact that it's called Clash of Clans, you should be in a clan that is active with good players so that you can grow. Um, now, this base, I actually used this my first time around um, when I was Town Hall 7 with my now almost max Town Hall 8 base. I really, really like this layout. It's almost like a whirlpool, as you can see things twisting around. Um, so it's really, really cool. I like this base a lot. Um, you are protecting your Dark Elixir, which is good. I don't see a Barbarian King yet, so it looks like you're saving up for that. You're getting pretty close. Uh, well, actually, I guess you're not really getting that close because it's 10,000 to, to get him, I believe. Um, so keep on working with that. 
it looks like um, so you do have your mortars uh, triangulated, which is perfect. You do have your um, goodness gracious, your air defenses out there, which cover an area of probably um, about th that. <laughs> So um, that's pretty good. Your your upper and lower portions of your base aren't covered too well, but you can't really do anything about that with only having two air defenses. Um, again, you were kind of doing what I mentioned earlier, where you have cannon, cannon, cannon um, on this side. So I would consider maybe bringing, I don't know, switching things up a little bit. Try doing cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, um, and things like that. I know you do have archer, cannon, Archer cannon right there, and then Archer cannon. But um, these three just look a little bit close together, so um, try spreading those out a little bit more as well. Um, and one thing I would do with these traps right here, um, I would consider maybe breaking out this wall right here and putting a trap right there. Maybe breaking out this wall right here, putting a trap right there. Um, and then I would definitely put traps in here because. If someone puts giants down out here or out here, they're going to go straight for those Teslas, and bombs aren't going to do that much to giants. So I would definitely um, put some traps right there as well. I, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do what you're doing uh, right here with the double traps if if I were doing it. Um, I like the base layout though. Again, I said I used this before. I like the fact that these are triangulated. Um, your wizards are doing good as well so overall man looks like you're doing pretty good um keep up the good work try and join an active clan because it's very very important you want this thing right up here your clan castle um which is one of your most important defenses you want that thing to be in the middle so um my suggestion would be to join an active clan and leave a mortal chaos because clearly it is chaos being in that clan <laughs> Um, but overall, good job, man. Keep upgrading, keep working hard. Looks like you're doing a good job. Next, we're going to move on to just skill. Let's centralize this up a little bit. Um, and let's go over his base. So, uh, this is a trophy base. Again, I don't know why you would be at trophies. You're almost to 1250. I don't know if you've passed it yet. Um, but maybe once you get to 1250, you can, um, turn it into a farming base once you get all those gems. I think that that would be um, smart on your part. So these are your mortars. They are kind of triangulated. I don't like that this one is over here because it's very um, subject to archers coming in off the side right there. So I would try and centralize that a little bit more. It looks like you only have 676 dark elixir, which is not that much at all. Um, so I might consider bringing this mortar right here over to where this elixir is. Um, and then switching your Dark Elixir and your Mortar right there um, to help triangulate those a little bit better. I think that that might be um, your best bet if you want to stick with this layout. This layout is a little bit annoying to me because it's not symmetrical. I love symmetrical bases, um, and this is not symmetrical at all. <laughs> um, right now you have your air defenses right here and right here. Um, they are both on this half of the base, which they shouldn't be. Um, if you're going to leave them this exposed, I would just bring one right over here um, and do them on opposite sides so that you can at least have your base covered. I would suggest not having them that exposed um, if you can help it uh, because they are very important as well. But it looks like you're doing a good job of upgrading. This looks maxed. Your mortars are maxed, I believe. You need to bring up that wizard tower right there. Uh, looks like your cannons are maxed, and it looks like your archer towers are as well. So you're definitely moving up. Um, let's see what level you are. Uh, you are. It is cut off. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know your level. Um, so that's cut off. But overall, it looks like you have you have what you need at your on your base. Everything's upgraded pretty well. Um, but the layout honestly isn't good. Um, I would try and figure out some way to make a symmetrical layout. Um, you want it to almost make a diamond like this. Um, and once you get up to 1250 trophies, I would kick this thing the freak out of the middle <laughs> and um, bring this, your clan castle, which I always say is very important. Bring your clan castle right here into the middle. 
um, and build around that. Okay, that's going to be very important. Um, check out some of these other bases. Let's see, I really like uh, Mr. Henley's base is awesome. So just skill, you can do that. Or James's base is really good. Um, so try and try and maybe do one of their bases. But overall, it looks like you're doing a good job of upgrading your defenses, but your layout definitely needs to change. Um, definitely needs to change. But as always, guys, that's going to be it. We are going to continue on with this series. Thank you so much for watching. Send me those emails to uh, basereviewswithmolt at gmail.com. Make sure that you title them your town hall level, and I will do my best to get to them, guys. I have over 300 emails, so obviously not all of you are going to be reviewed. Uh, just make sure that you um, take what I say about other people's bases and go from there and apply it to your base. All right? As always, you guys are awesome. You are so much cooler than me. Thank you for the support. Um, all of my new and old subscribers, you guys rule. And as always, guys, keep calm and clash on, all right? I'll see you later.